on day 164 of my big sci-fi office build project, I wanted to build these sci-fi office doors, but I encountered a big problem. Let me show you what I mean. One of the first issues that's going to be a problem is that I put octagonal holes in the side of my walls. So there's a reason nobody puts octagonal holes in walls. Let me explain. A standard double sliding door, like the ones in grocery stores, have two three foot wide doors that fit into a six foot wide opening. And when fully open, the entire square entrance is available to walk through. Now let's look at the octagonal hole. Doors need to be two foot wider to open and expose the entire opening. Then that leaves a part of the walls that you can trip on and hit your head. And that's not even the biggest problem. For this entire door assembly to work, you need 18 feet of clearance to have doors this large and have a six foot opening in the middle. And unfortunately, I don't have 18 feet. Some space can be gained back by just not opening the doors up all the way. But I'm worried that a six foot door is gonna warp and is gonna be extremely heavy. But I have a solution to this problem. To get the best of both worlds, I think I can add two blast doors on the side of this octagonal hole. This essentially is gonna turn my octagon back into a square. These extra doors are not gonna move, they're gonna stay fixed, but give the appearance like they could move at any time. Once the design was finalized, it was now time to start thinking about how the door was gonna be constructed. Ultimately, I ended up deciding on an all wood construction. The idea is that I was gonna take several layers of plywood and glue them all together, creating one big thick door. Utilizing the water jet, I'm gonna be able to cut out windows and some cool sci-fi features. To ensure longevity because this door is gonna be heavy, I'm gonna add some steel. This is gonna be a great place to mount the rollers and all the hardware to make this thing work. Another reason wood is a great choice because I have 12 doors to make, and that's a lot of doors. I'm gonna be utilizing the water jet cutter to help me speed things up. Now the water jet is really cool because it can literally cut any material that I want. And the cut quality is excellent. To build the doors, I'm gonna be laminating four unique layers of plywood together. And what's required to do this is lots of glue and a way to align all the sheets up and be able to clamp them all together. And for that, I'm gonna be using the fireball fixture table. You're probably watching me do this and wondering why doesn't Jason just make a big block and laminate all four pieces of plywood together, making a big solid piece, and then come back with the water jet and cut it all at the same time. Well, yes, that would work if I only cut the perimeter of the door with the water jet. Unfortunately, the water jet is so powerful that I cannot stop the jet it has to punch all the way through. If you notice, this door has some unique features, like windows, and I'd like a ledge and pockets to be able to put some glass in. So using the water jet, the multi-layer construction works the best. 